Hi and welcome back. Today something a bit different. I'm going to be um, unboxing and trying out some new handmade paints and handmade pigments from the alchemist and colour maker um, Jeremy Parker at um, the YouTube channel uh, The Alchemical Arts which I shall link to below. I'll also link to the shop where you can purchase some paints and some pigments if you're interested in paint making yourself. So the pigments that I purchased for my own paint making for Davidson's Pigments um, is Teal Verdita, Burnt Umber, Yellow Ochre, Maya Blue, Still de Grain or Dutch Pink and Madder Lake. And I've also got some of their half pans of watercolour paint, Coal Tar Black, Maya Blue, Madder Lake, Lincoln Green and Stilled Grain which is also known as Dutch Pink. They came in this really nice little tin and it's a lovely set of colours and wonderful to think that um, not only are the paints handmade but the pigments from which they are produced are handmade. Now from my pigments I decided to make up some of the Teal Verdita and the um, Natural Burnt Umber. I shall try out the others later, but I just wanted these two to complement the ready-made half pans. And here they are, I've put them into tubes and the colours are absolutely beautiful. And I'm going to use them along with the half pans um, to paint um, a line and wash painting of a local little cottage in a local street near me. I've used waterproof fine liners for this and um, once those are completely dry, then I shall go in with some of these beautiful paints and just do a really loose washy painting over the fine liner because the fine liner has produced all the detail and definition i'm just now enhancing that so first of all i'm using um burnt umber and a small harky brush it's a pro art harky brush um, and i'm putting in most of the brickwork with this. Um, just going to try and just keep it sort of very washy and sort of vignette format. I'm um, not too worried about the edges and I think that kind of adds to the charm. And then while the paint's still wet, I'm going to dip into the Still de Grain or Dutch Pink and add some variety to the brickwork. Just a little bit of variation because the paint's wet and my board's at an angle of 45 degrees, um, the water and the paint is running a bit. It will soften and diffuse. So even though I've painted um, wet paint onto a dry paper, um, I've created a wet in wet environment with the burnt umber. And now, as I say, I'm dropping in the still de grain, warming it up in places. Now this is a little bit of Madder Lake. A bit more Madder Lake across for the little tiled area uh, just above the garage doors. It's wonderful to be using a handmade genuine Madder Lake, which of course is the Elizarin Crimson um, pigment. Um, it is not as light fast as some of the substitutes that are available these days, but I'm not too bothered about that. This is in my sketchbook and it's an absolute pleasure to use it. Um, it's a gorgeous red, really transparent. I'd imagine it'd be beautiful for glazing. So still working quite quickly into the wet wash um, with a little bit more of the burnt umber and then just lifting off a bit here and there very gently with a tissue just to sort of knock back the wash in places. This adds subtle texture. And now for the star of the show, this beautiful teal verdita that I made up from the handmade pigment. It's a copper-based pigment and it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, so I'm going to use it for the garage doors here. Um, I think it works beautifully next to the Madder Lake. And I'll just put a little tiny bit across some of these lighter windows and a little bit maybe into one of the plant pots for a bit of colour harmony across the piece. And then, of course, pull it across for a quick, um, very simple sky wash. Again, using the same colour for the sky as is um, in the building uh, gives us that sort of sense of colour harmony across the, across the line and wash painting. And I think that's just about done. I like the freshness of this. I like the fact that nothing's really been sort of 
coloured in, so to speak. It just kind of looks naturally weathered and worn. Um, so just a few final little dabs of paint here and there across the traffic cone and the plant pots. And I'm going to pretty much, pretty much call that finished. So what did I think of them? Well, I think you can tell from how much I enjoyed painting this and how quickly the painting came together that I really like them. So I highly recommend that you um, go and subscribe to the Alchemical Arts, especially if you're interested in the process of pigment making. There are so many wonderful videos over there of Jeremy in his lab experimenting. It's really fascinating. So please do pop over and subscribe to his channel and take a look at his shop if you're interested in any of the paints or the pigments. The links will be below. So thank you so much for watching. Um, please leave us a like and subscribe to my channel as it really does help with my reach. And thank you so much to my wonderful Patreon group who support this channel. And I'll see you again soon and happy painting. Bye.